Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in a new background, we're in a new setting. I did move and this is kind of like my temporary setup, if you will. This is just what we're working with for right now. I wanted to bring you guys my Sephora savings event haul. So the sale starts today. For the sale, Rouge members get 20% off. So it's from the 14th until the 24th of April. VIB members get 15% off from the 18th until the 24th. And then Beauty Insiders also from the 18th to the 24th. And that's 10% off. And Sephora Collections also 30% off from the 14th to the 24th. I did pick up some goodies from Sephora. I pretty much always shop this sale. But we're just going to jump right into it. I did splurge and I bought this perfume that I've been wanting for so long. I am officially a Love Don't Be Shy by Killian Gurley. I've been wanting this perfume ever since it became popular. I guess because it's what Rihanna wears. I feel like that's how it really got popular is everyone knows it to be Rihanna's perfume. I feel like when I picture Rihanna or if I can envision a fragrance, what Rihanna would smell like, it would just be amazing. I feel like she just looks like someone who smells really, really good. And I never bought this. I don't know why. One of my favorite perfumes of all time is Killian Princess, which is I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Super long name, but it's my favorite because I am very much into a sweet fragrance right now. I love gourmet. Mons, I love vanilla. I love marshmallow. I just love to smell very sweet and edible. So love don't be shy was definitely right in that alley. But every time I went to Sephora to smell it, they just never had it or the tester was pretty much done. I just couldn't get my hands on it. So I finally did. And of course with the 20% off, why not? So love don't be shy. Love the packaging. And this fragrance is pricey. Killian is very pricey. Princess, my favorite perfume from Killian, isn't as expensive as this one. So it took me a really long time to actually like bite the bullet and buy this one but it's categorized as a warm floral and the keynotes are orange blossom vanilla absolute and luscious marshmallow it says this fragrance implores you at the opening with tender orange blossom absolute juicy honeysuckle and plush rose are softly caressed by the sweetness of luscious marshmallow sugar accord satisfying the craving pang of new love a warm amber base lends a touch of sensuality so i'm gonna give it a little I'm getting a lot of that orange, a lot of that marshmallow. So it's very, very sweet. And it's orange, not in a citrusy way, but more in a sweet way. Kind of like a nectar, like a marshmallow. It's very creamy and very soft, but also kind of like in your face. This lasts so long on me personally. I tested this out in store. I went about my day and I could still smell it hours later. So longevity is there. They do have an extreme version. I didn't get that one. I just got love, don't be shy. I haven't smelled the extreme version. And and then Killian also has a newer fragrance, which is Can't Stop Loving You. And I did smell Can't Stop Loving You. I liked it, but I like Love Don't Be Shy more on my skin. It just felt more like me, but they do have kind of similar notes. Can't Stop Loving You has orange blossom and vanilla. This also has some orange and vanilla. So they're very similar in that way, but this one just really stood out to me and was very unique. So I'm very, very happy and excited to have Love Don't Be Shy in my collection. I feel complete. I feel like I was really missing this one. I feel like I always say that about certain fragrances but this is one that's been on my list for a very long time so love don't be shy by Killian. Next I picked up another smell good item this is the Way Body Cleanser in St. Bart's so I did really love their Melrose Place body wash. I had it, I used it it was really nice. I typically don't like something super fragrance when it comes to body wash because I have sensitive skin. I like for something to smell good and clean but not super perfumed so I did have the Way Melrose Place body wash and that one was nice but I think it had some rose in it and I am very sensitive to rose. So this is the St. Bart's and I was absolutely in love. Head over heels over their St. Bart's scrub. It's like a scalp and body scrub. I pretty much just use it as a body scrub. I kept saying like I wish they had this as a body wash. I feel like everyone was saying that. And Way listen. It smells like a tropical vacation in a bottle. It's just so luxurious. It's clean but so 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 warm. I feel like this is the perfect post beach body wash. Like this is the type of body wash that you bring with you on vacation it just smells like Miami this feels like so tropical so warm perfect for summer or maybe when it's not summer and you want to bring those vibes back you put this on in the shower and you're just gonna feel like you're on a beach somewhere somewhere really really nice and tropical so I'm so happy they released this it says vacay is only a shower away <laughs> cute this body cleanser is infused with our St. Bart scent that has notes of dragon fruit orange blossom tuberose and musk so you can enjoy paradise all year long so that's exactly 
what that is. Vacation in a bottle. Next, I picked up something for my scalp because my scalp is so finicky. It's so sensitive. I mean, every inch of me is sensitive. I feel like in and out, I'm just a very sensitive person apparently. And all shampoos kind of give me a reaction. Even shampoos meant for dermatitis, for dandruff, they either help the cause out for like a day or they don't help at all. So I'm kind of just like desperate at this point. I mean, I'm pretty much only using Nizarol and also like a prescribed ketoconazole by my derm. But I want my scalp to feel clean and fresh and my hair also gets extremely oily very quickly. I wanted to try out this Briogeo Scalp Revival Dandruff Relief Shampoo. This has charcoal and AHA slash BHA, so salicylic acid 3% to help eliminate and prevent reoccurrence of scalp itching, irritation. It also has hydrating lactic acid and detoxifying charcoal to gently exfoliate and cleanse to help diminish scalp impurities, excess oil buildup, and white tea tree oil to help soothe a dry scalp. So this kind of felt like the answer to my problems because I have oily hair from buildup and just oil in general from not using the proper shampoos because I feel like dandruff shampoos don't really clean your hair. They help the scalp issues but they don't actually like get your hair clean. I did use this once and my hair has gotten oily just as normal so I don't know if it's really gonna help in the oil department but I will say that I had a lot less flakiness and a lot less dryness going on in the scalp area so I'm gonna keep trying it. I know that with these kinds of things you kind of have to use it for a prolonged period of time. You're not just gonna cure the problem in one shower so I'm gonna continue to use it. I will say this made my scalp feel very fresh. It was very like tingly fresh and clean. It kind of had that like very minty feeling and smell and I love how tea tree smells so I will continue to use this and report back. If you guys have any recommendations let me know. I've pretty much tried I feel like everything but I'm always open to suggestions. I've tried things from Amazon. I've tried using like glycolic acid. I've tried everything but my scalp just it gets better but then it goes right back to the same issues. I did pick up a Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Chai Rosa 68. This is the jasmine and pink dragon fruit. The infamous dupe for Baccarat and I love this for throwing on like before the gym. If I'm just heading out to just run a quick errand, I don't feel like taking out my perfume. I'll just keep this like in my vanity or on top of a counter like somewhere very visible that I can just like spray really quickly. I also love wearing this kind of like body spray to bed. I just always love smelling good and this is a perfume mist so you're not like dousing yourself with a strong perfume just to like run to Target. So I like that but I actually do love the scent. To me it does have a remnant. It does smell a little bit like Baccarat to me. I know it's very controversial. Don't shoot me but it does have that Baccarat DNA and I should have also picked up the lotion because I don't know where mine is in the same line the pink one. This is definitely my favorite scent out of all of them. I do also like the I think it's the pistachio one. There's a few that I like. They're all really good but I do really like the pink line. This one's kind of boring but it's just a backup of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fussy. If I had to pick one lip gloss from Sephora it would be Fenty Fussy so that says enough because I love lip gloss. I actually have two more lip products to show you guys but I just needed a new fussy because I feel like these just grow legs and walk away. Every time I go out I feel like I'm missing a fancy lip product. They're just so good that I will always repurchase it even though I'm always losing it. Not sticky. I love the scent. The color is perfection. It's the most beautiful light pink. It's not too much. It doesn't give too much color but it gives enough. I can wear it without lipstick. I can wear it just with lip liner over lipstick over liquid with lipstick. Pretty much it goes with everything. I can always trust Fenty Fussy. I feel like I should be the spokesperson for Fenty Fussy because I cannot say enough good things. This one, Makeup by Mario, came out with these Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Colors. And I wasn't really interested in getting any of these because of the bad reviews. I feel like I already have enough lip glosses. You can't really top Fenty Fussy. For me, anyway, like I'm happy where I'm at. You know, I love my Fenty Fussy. I don't feel like I need to shop around for lip gloss. But I do like trying new things and honestly when I went to look at the display they got me So I did pick one up. It's in the shade soft blush and a lot of people are complaining that these bleed that they don't last and that they're just extremely small for the price you know if the product is good and I like the color then I don't really mind but I will say it is kind of small it's giving NYX butter gloss size maybe actually NYX butter gloss might be bigger so I just pulled it up the makeup by Mario you're getting 3.3 milliliters and a NYX butter gloss you're getting eight milliliters so you actually get way more in the NYX butter gloss and it's five dollars and this is twenty four dollars I'm gonna put it on I do have on the other lip product that 
I bought, which is the Lawless Forget the Filler Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in Lavender Sorbet. Kind of consider it like a lip balm. So that's what I have on right now, just with lip liner. And I purposely didn't put anything like too pigmented on because I wanted to try this on. So it's very cooling. And I'm using my phone, which is a mirror. Okay. Very pretty. It's like a soft petal pink. I'm gonna swatch Fussy from Fenty next to it so you guys can see. But I typically don't do something with this much pigment, especially in my glosses. You can see them there, Fussy versus the Mario Soft Blush. It's a full coverage water-infused liquid lip color that hydrates and visibly plumps with a weightless glossy feel. See, I didn't know that it was water-infused. It has encapsulated H2O. Definitely feel that. It feels like my lips are drinking water right now. It's like a little cooling, a little tingling. The swatch is getting like a little bumpy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it got like a little lumpy and clumpy. I don't know. We'll see. I did see a review of someone like swatching these and trying them on and they were like kind of bleeding outside of the lip which she noted that she had never seen before with any other formula ever. I don't know, I'm iffy, but back to this one. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in Lavender Sorbet. This is one of their newer colors. I love the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Glosses. So long of a name. I have Daisy Pink and I also have Cherry Vanilla. I think Cherry Vanilla is my favorite out of all of them, but I saw this one and it intrigued me because it was like a pale lavender shade and I'm like, how is that gonna look on the lips? I love the applicator on these and it says it's a clinically tested ultra shiny gloss with immediate and long-term softening, hydrating, and visibly plumping benefits. So it has shea butter, hyaluronic acid. See, this is definitely a color that I feel that is very me. It's sheer, but it's still giving you that hint of like a baby pink lavender kind of like milky color and i love these for when i'm not wearing makeup if i want my lips to shine and just give them a little bit of color without doing too much i love something like this i love these and i also love the patrick ta i think they are lip plumpers as well oh and i especially love the new pink lip balm from summer fridays i don't have that on me because it's in my bag i actually picked it up before the sale and i've been waiting for it to come back in stock so that i can pick up a few more because it's my favorite it's the pink sugar. It's out of stock still on Sephora, but it's a lip butter balm from Summer Fridays and pink sugar. It's just taken over my world. I don't ever use Kopari lip glossy anymore. I still do like the vanilla from Summer Fridays. It's like that, but with a little bit of pink. So it's like my ultimate favorite lip balm currently because it's giving you the hydration. It's giving you a little bit of a hint of pink and the scent. It's like a vanilla scent. I don't like it when lip balms don't have a fragrance. I do like for my products, my lip products to have a little bit of a either minty or like a vanilla fragrance and I really love the Summer Fridays one. I only picked up one and I regret it because I'm almost done with it and I haven't even had it for that long. But if you have the chance to pick up the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm either in vanilla or in the pink sugar, definitely pick one up because... Every time there's a sale, I always re-up on my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I kind of alternate between Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown and the Benefit Brow Pencil in 3.5. I actually have on 3.75 right now. I just picked up whatever I could find and used it, but I go through this Anastasia Brow Wiz way too quickly, so every time there's a sale, I just pick one up because I know I'm always going to need it. So medium brown is my favorite shade, so I picked that up. And then I also picked up this LYS, which is love yourself beauty lys beauty no limits cream bronzer stick i picked it up in harmony which is their medium shade and i absolutely <laughs> fell in love with it but right now i am on the more like fair side i don't have a tan so this shade is a little bit too deep for me like while i was doing my makeup i was loving it i was like yes it's so bronzed but then when i went out into the real world and saw my arm compared to how bronzed my face was i was like yeah you might need to pick up the light shade but what really really got me was the ease like this was so easy to use it was so creamy i'm gonna go ahead and say i think this is my favorite like contour bronzer stick ever just because it was so creamy hasn't irritated me yet i didn't break out from it I'm gonna show you just like with the lightest swipe you get so much pigment and I love the shape of it the triangle I think almost all of their products are like shaped like this I have their concealer I have powders from them cream blush and I love this brand I feel like it doesn't get enough hype it has a vegan formula clean at Sephora the natural finish has hyaluronic acid black owned at Sephora so 
all amazing things. I just need to get a lighter shade. I need to pick up the lightest shade, actually. This retails for $20. I feel like at the drugstore, makeup is at that $20 range already. So great price, but I definitely need to pick up Motivate, which is the light shade. So this one's Harmony. They have Courage, Strength, and Worthy. So they go a lot deeper, which I also love the inclusivity. I just love everything about this brand right now. I'm really, really into it. I've been using their concealer a lot, and I love that it's not drying. This formula is just insanely creamy but it blends out really nicely. I love how warm this is. I just definitely need to pick up a lighter shade for myself, but I'm definitely gonna keep this one for when I'm a little darker, a little deeper, when I have a tan. So that's everything that I picked up. But I did wanna quickly mention two fragrances to you from the brand Commodity, which I feel like is so slept on, so underrated. We have Commodity Gold and Commodity Milk Plus. Commodity, I talked a little bit about it. I did a video on Commodity Gold on TikTok, but they pretty much like relaunched at Sephora and they have this thing called scent space they created scent space to give you greater control over the intensity and projection of your scent so each commodity fragrance is available in three different scent space concentrations personal expressive and bold so this is a really really cool unique concept i really really love that if you're the type of person that you want your fragrance to be more so for just you let's say you work in an environment where you can't have something too strong you work in an office you work at the hospital you don't really like an out there kind of fragrance. You can pick up one of Commodity's fragrances in the personal scent space. Let's just say you're on the opposite side of that spectrum where you wanna be bold. You want people to smell you before you even walk into the room. So then you would get bold. If you're somewhere in the middle, you get expressive. So I love that. Each of them, I feel like, smell a little bit different. Even though they're the same scent, they do have like a little bit of a difference. So there's Commodity Milk Bold, Commodity Milk Personal, Commodity Milk Expressive. Same thing with gold. There's the three of them so I feel like these fragrances are so slept on I'm gonna start with gold the fragrance family is warm and spicy and the scent type is warm and sweet gourmands which is what I'm loving right now so the keynotes are molten amber vanilla and creamy musk I've been wearing this so often ever since I got it I can't stop picking it up I keep putting it back into the box and taking it out of the box every time I want to wear it because I wanted to keep the packaging to show you guys in this video I'm so excited now to throw the box away and just have it on display because I reach for it pretty much every day. So Commodity Gold is a warm and gourmand scent that is loved by both men and women, so it is unisex. This rich concoction of molten amber and Nubian musk is indulgent enough to bathe in, and this is part of Commodity's white collection, which includes scents that are light, airy, and easy says what's special about this scent is that it has Madagascar Bourbon Vanilla Absolutes, which is a pure vanilla cultivated on the bourbon island of Madagascar, which is widely known for the highest quality vanilla in the world. Honestly, makes me feel so expensive. It's creamy and luxurious. It just smells like a hug. It smells like a rich hug. It smells bold, but also it's just creamy. It's a nice, warm soft vanilla musk and it lasts really long on the skin and i definitely see this as being unisex i have two moods i'm either super feminine or i like to wear things like this that i feel like i can smell on my boyfriend or on my brother like this is a fragrance that i feel like anyone would smell and be like that smells good it's just a rich sweet scent that i feel like is very very universal Commodity Gold, it's definitely a win in my book. If you haven't smelled it, you should. And then I also have Commodity Milk Plus, and this one is in the bold scent space. If you have a chance and you're interested in Commodity, they do have an exploration set, like a discovery set. It retails for $42, which isn't bad, and you get to try all of them. The set comes with all six of the fragrances and all three of the scent types. So I actually had the set, and I fell in love with so many of them. I have Book, Gold, Velvet, Moss, Paint, Paper and milk. I remember loving velvet a lot and I think moss, but I do remember velvet sticking out to me. I just can't remember which one was the one that I love the most because they all smell good, like from the scent space types. I remember like smelling one and be like, I really love that. Then I forgot if it was the bold or the expressive. So I think I'm gonna get the exploration set again because there were some that I would spray and I'm like, I should take a picture of the little bottle so that I can get it. And I forgot. And here we are. So this is commodity milk, bold, and the fragrance family is warm. Warm and spicy and the scent type is warm and sweet gourmand again things i'm loving warm sweet gourmand and the keynotes are firewood mahogany wood and tonk bean that's very different for me it's a smoky sweet and inviting scent to be worn with confidence this is for like the woodsy lovers if you like like a musky 
sweet kind of scent. You're definitely gonna love this. It's also very unisex. I can't wait to grow like my commodity collection because I feel like, again, so underrated. Every time I put these on, I feel so empowered and I feel so pretty. I just feel like I smell so good and it's a different kind of smell good than your average fragrance. These actually like take over your whole mood, I guess. That sounds very deep, but they're just not like your average perfume. And you're also getting so much juice. So for $135, you're getting 3.4 fluid ounces which is a lot of perfume to go through and you really don't need a lot with these so i encourage you to go smell commodity if you're ever in store definitely check them out i feel like they're very very slept on very underrated and you are going to fall in love with one of them i definitely recommend getting the discovery set if you trust me trust me and get it because you're gonna find one or more fragrances that you love i actually mixed both and wore them the other day and my brother when i got in the car he was like sheesh you smell good Good. He knows I'm very into fragrance because he is too. We're always sharing about like our new fragrances and what we like and he has his own really nice collection and he never really compliments me on my fragrance. This was I think the first time in a really long time that he's actually said whatever you have on smells amazing. So shout out to Commodity for that. I did mix both that day so I don't know if it was the concoction of both or if he was smelling one more than the other but I definitely feel good when I wear either or when I mix them together. So that was everything that I picked up. I highly recommend picking up the house labs blushes amazing i also really love the say blushes right now especially the shade chili i'm trying to think of other things that i've tried recently that i really love and that i feel like became staples right away makeup by mario lip pencil in smoky pink has been a favorite recently lately of course polish choice bha exfoliator I'm trying to think the new moisturizer by shining darden the oil free one if you have oily skin the summer fridays dream oasis deep hydration serum really nice if you have sensitive skin is fragrance free and it's a really nice hydrating serum there's so many things but those are the things that stand out to me as far as like new items that i've been loving that i picked up at sephora but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys are picking up because i feel like i'm probably gonna shop a little bit more <laughs> i think in my cart i have two items which isn't surprising i have the lys beauty no limits cream bronzer and contour stick in motivate the lighter shade i have the verb dry shampoo for dark hair because this oily hair i need to get it situated and then i also have the estee lauder double wear sheer in my cart in the shade dawn so those three items are definitely just chilling in my cart but let me know what you guys are gonna pick up because i might pick it up too i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys think don't forget to show me some love leave me a comment don't forget to subscribe also follow me on instagram and tiktok at beauty by rosita thank you so much for watching this video i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys